In today's video, I'm going to be scanning my entire office by using an iPhone 12 Pro and the LiDAR technology. I'm going to turn my entire office into a 3D mesh and I'm really excited about this because I'm going to be able to run it in my Oculus Quest. The reason I did this is because I got inspired by Greg Madison and Valem who did a video about this in YouTube. These are the results and I'm going to show you how to set this up in Unity. All right guys, so the first thing that I want to show you is the setup that I have in here. I have an OVR camera rig because I'm using the Oculus integration. I also added a head because I wanted to have a reference to my head where the camera was going to be positioned. And I also have a handle so that I can move the entire environment. And if you look in here, I'm also using hand tracking. So this one is mapped to the left hand. This one is mapped to the right hand. And I also have an environment container which basically just controls the ground and it's going to control where the lighter scan result is going to be. And then the adjust handle is going to be here. So as I touch with my hands on this, it's basically going to push it on the z-axis. This is going to go in the opposite direction and then you know x and y are also going to allow me to do that. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to have more control of the environment when I'm using my hands. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and import my my mesh here that I got from the application that I use for scanning. So I'm going to drag it and drop it into Unity. It's going to import it. Okay, so it looks at the finish. Let me go ahead and close out of that. And then let's go ahead and go into it. And I'm going to drag it and drop it into my environment or EMV container. You're going to see that right away we have my office. It's not 100% accurate, but I think it, you know, it gives you an idea that I scan. I did, I did my best to scan that. I'm just going to call it lighter result and think that it's going to align perfectly well there. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do, the textures are not quite right. They're compressed and that's why I can't really see really well everything. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to change this to, we just make it, let's do 8192. And then the quality, I'm going to set it all the way high and then hit apply. Okay, so now that the texture got updated, now it's not compressed. And so now everything is looking a lot better, right? We can see the Unity logo. I can see my office is not perfect, but you, you get an idea of how my office looked like. And if I you know, zoom out, you can see how everything, everything looks. I swear, I tried to do the best that I could to scan it, but it looks like the, the scanner didn't, or I didn't do much of a good job. But anyways, now that we have that set, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into my ISO, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I align everything correctly. So. If we look at the handle here, this handle, I'm just going to use it just to reposition everything. I can leave it right there. I think that's that's okay. And what I'll do for the head though, because the head is the one that is going to is going to basically allow me to control the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these right where I'm going to be sitting. And I'm normally going to be sitting, you know, right at that position. And then if we go ahead and and, and you can see that everything actually needs to be rotated. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. And I did this before, so I'm just going to change it to 180 degrees. And if we go here, now I should be able to see... There we go. Now I can just go ahead and center this correctly here. And I'm trying to align it where my head is going to be. And now if I go on the, on the x-axis, now you can see the camera is pointing at my screen. If I go ahead and just bring it in a little bit, right where my my head is going to be, my neck will be here, and I'm just you know using the head as a frame of reference, and I think that I think that works. If it doesn't align well, what I'll do is I'll walk back in in you know in virtual reality, and I'll just go ahead and adjust this. So we could also you know change the the adjust handle so that it is aligned with my head. That way, what I what I can do is I can just do two steps backward. And then I can just touch the handles and then readjust uh, everything. That's the easiest way that I found. I'm sure there's many ways to do this, but I think to align it, I think this is going to work just fine. So all the things that we need to do is I need to do some coding on the handles. So I'm going to show you what I have for that. So right now I have a pivot. So this is the center pivot of the handle. And then each handle has a capsule collider, also what I call a lighter handle. All it is is basically going to adjust when I, when I do and touch this component is going to, you know, it's going to move the lighter result. If I do the positive, it's going to go in the positive x direction. If I do x negative, it's going to go on the x negative direction. Basically, it has an axis assignment, which you can set in here. And I also have a move speed if I want to increase how fast I'm moving that. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and double click it and then we're just going to focus on coding that. I'm going to do it quickly and then we can go back to test it. Okay, so that covers that script. Let's go ahead and go back. All right, so this is now running on my device. Let's see how it feels. So you guys can see that everything is aligned. So if I were to tap, I have my mouse here. And one of the things that I wanted to try is just to see how it feels to touch different areas. So let's see if I can, you know, feel the bottle. <laughs> you can see how, how that feels. And let's see if I do a couple of typing. So I'm typing, it feels we're getting the noise from the keyword. I think this is everything guys, I'm gonna call it good and if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments.